Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I want to welcome Bobby Smitherin as our new Executive Director of Athletics. Welcome, Bobby, and your family. Um, before I make my remarks, I want to thank Ted Katawaki. Ted was happily retired and on a different <laughs> path in life, and when I called him, um, he came and he served and he did an outstanding job. So, Ted, thank you so much. I don't know where you are, Ted. There he is. <laughs> Ted Katawaki. I'd like to once again thank our search committee. They did an outstanding job. I see some in the audience. Um, we had three outstanding finalists. It was, it was. I'd like to say it was a tough choice for Jane and I, but it was. Bobby was just so um, obviously head and shoulders above the rest of the crowd. It was an easy decision to make. One of my easiest, and I think Jane will say something similar when she talks. Um, we got feedback from all over campus. We had a diverse group of folks across the campus giving us feedback. It wasn't just the search committee. And um, it was all extremely positive for Bobby. And so, once again, it was just an incredibly easy decision to make. Um, in addition to Bobby's impressive um, experience and success as an athletic administrator, many of you may know that he comes from a legendary Long Beach family, as I do. And so it's, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's just a wonderful time for me to be able to welcome <coughs> Bobby back to Long Beach and to his roots and his family back to Long Beach. Um, and um, we're just very excited to have him here at Long Beach State. So thank you. And I will call up our beloved president, Dr. Jane Close Conley, to make a few remarks. That's why Scott always gets to introduce me, because he calls me beloved. I really <laughs> like that. Yes. So hello, everyone. I am Jane Connolly, the president of Cal State Long Beach. Such a privilege. Thank you all for joining us. It's so nice to see so many people here at the point. Um, I too want to thank Ted and Ted's family for stepping in. I think he was a little hard to coax from what I <laughs> heard from you. Um, you. As many of you know, Ted is a veteran staff member from the beach um, and uh, he came back uh, and got a number of things uh, accomplished, building a plan for fiscal s sustainability uh, that will support the department's ambitious goals in the months and years ahead. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm also grateful to our dedicated coaches and staff members, scholar athletes, fans, and donors who supported Ted uh, and the department during this period of transition and kept the beach on track to win, by the way, another Commissioner's Cup despite <laughs> the transition. It's amazing that our department was able to just keep the momentum going forward, even with transitions. Um, <coughs> and of course, a big thanks to uh, beloved Vice President Scott <laughs> Pell, <laughs> who has worked closely with Ted throughout this time, and our outstanding National Search Committee, led by uh, Dan Montoya, who wasn't isn't able to be here today, but also by Chris Fowler, who is here today. And they did a lot of work, and they developed a wonderful field for us to consider. Um, <coughs> and it's because of all of you that we're here today with our illustrious athletic program, ready to take the next exciting leap forward under the leadership of our new Executive Director of Athletics, Bobby Smitherman. Um, you are a native of uh, California, uh, Riverside, California, but as Scott said, you have many connections to, to, um, to Long Beach, and you can bet we heard about that when Bobby's name became <laughs> Uh, became public. Uh, Bobby played four years of collegiate baseball at the University of New Mexico, where he earned both a bachelor's and a master's degree. And the latter was in physical education with a specialization in sports administration. Bobby's career in intercollegiate athletics spans 20 years and includes stints at the University of North Texas, UC Irvine, and San Diego State, where he most recently served as the Aztec's Executive Associate Athletics Director. In this most recent role, Bobby was responsible for managing a comprehensive academic support program that served more than 450 student athletes. And you may recall during that the 2022-23 year, the Aztec men's basketball uh, team advanced to the NCAA championships, becoming the first Mountain West team to make an Elite Eight, Final Four, or NCAA title game. No high expectations. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> And the Aztec softball team, by the way, advanced to its first NCAA Super Regional, coming within one game of making its first Women's College World Series appearance. So uh, go Aztecs. I say that now before the season 
begins. <laughs> And by the way, the Smitherin family doesn't know, but these are my game shoes, so I wore them today <laughs> just to show that we're ready. We're ready to go. Um, Bobby brings the experience, knowledge, and skills necessary to lead a program with a sustained history of national prominence, that's us, and to help our student athletes fulfill their enormous potential, both on and off their various fields of play. He's the right person to leverage a decades-long tradition of athletic achievement so Long Beach State can continue to soar but soar to new heights, reach new audiences, enhance opportunities for our scholar athletes, and serve as a symbol of excellence that enhances the image of the university, the region, and the state. So I could not be more thrilled to introduce Bob Bobby Smitherin, but I want you to know that his wife Karen is here, his son Tyler is here, his mother Joyce is here, and his dad and his mom, and mom Margie, but are you, dad, your Joyce. Your <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll take any mom. Any mom that wants to come is welcome here. Okay, let's get it together. So, thank you. Thank you for being here. I'll ask more questions next time. Uh, so I could not be more thrilled and happy that Bobby is here with your family and with all your supporters. So please come to the stage and talk to us. Thank you, Bobby. Wow. Uh, thank you, President Connolly and Vice President Pell for that great introduction. I am humbled by the leadership opportunity that you have entrusted me with and the outpouring of support that I've received from friends colleagues, and the Long Beach community. I've also now gained a mother or two, and some, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some new shoes, so I appreciate that, that's exciting. But as, as Scott and President Connolly just did, I'd like to thank a number of people and, and publicly recognize them for their participation in this search. Search Committee Co-Chairs, Vice President for University Relations and Development, Dan Montoya. Dan is not here today, but I'm very excited to be working alongside him. Chief of Staff Chris Fowler was there to pick me up that first morning of my interview and got me off to a great start, so thank you, Chris, for your participation. Process was first rate. I couldn't agree more with your selection, so <laughs> great job. Uh, I would like to as well thank Interim Athletic Director Ted Katawaki uh, for your dedication, 31 years of service to this institution and Beach Athletics. Round of applause for Ted, please. I'd like to thank Drew Turner and Collegiate Sports Associates for leading the search. Thank you, Drew. I would be remiss without recognizing my friend and mentor, San Diego State University Athletic Director, John David Wicker, President Adela De La Torre, and the entire team at San Diego State University for the experiences that have prepared me for today. A special thanks as well to Cheryl Levick for your support and guidance through this search. So I'm gonna shift gears here a little bit and, and tell you why I'm so excited about this opportunity. One of the big reasons I was so excited to receive the call that I had been selected was that this job is not just a job to me. And this is not just any community. This position is personal for me and for my family. The Smitherin family has been in Long Beach since 1917, 106 years. And I understand that this community is special the pride that people have for Long Beach is something I've always felt since coming here as a small child, visiting my papa and grandma, right off Studebaker Road, probably a mile as a crow flies from where I have my feet today. And it's because of that that I will engage the Long Beach community in an authentic, transparent, and respectful manner. This is a proud moment for my family, and I hope you don't mind my introducing them to you. My dad, Jack, who is a member of, this is the trifecta, as I've been told, <laughs> Hall of Fame member of the Century Club, Long Beach Wilson High School, and Long Beach Baseball Hall of Fame, and his wife, Margie. Would you guys please stand? <laughs> My Hall of Fame mom, Joyce, would you please stand?
My mom's husband, Bill, and my brother, Casey, are watching this live stream from Arizona. And I want to take this opportunity to say to my brother, Casey, you are my hero, and I'm so proud to be your brother. Okay, that's the, that's the cry moment, so i got to get that out of the way. <laughs> my cousin, Warren, is here. Warren, will you please stand, late native of Long Beach? My son Tyler, who we will be dropping off next week at Chico State as a first-time freshman. we got a long drive ahead of us, but we're going to do this. Please stand, Tyler. My son Cooper is traveling home right now. He's going to be on a flight, so he couldn't be here today, but he's going to be an eighth grader, and I'm just so excited for him to join this community. And last but not least, my wife of 22 years, my beautiful wife of 22 years, Karen, who is my rock and someone I can't wait for this community to get to know. Thank you for your unconditional love and support, and we're going to do this together. All right, the personal stuff is out of the way, so now we can <laughs> stop crying. As a California State University institution, Long Beach State University aligns with my educational philosophy of opportunity and access. When looking at the fabric of this campus community and seeing all the wonderful things taking place with a No Barriers campaign and a 2030 Beach strategic plan to move this campus forward under the leadership of President Connolly, it's an exciting time for Beach Athletics to contribute towards that mission. An athletic, an athletic director at times may only be as good as their president allows them to be. And I know in my conversation with President Connolly and her actions that have supported athletics and the student experience on this campus, I have a partner in our success. I also believe that my hire signals a desire by President Connolly to ensure that athletic achievement and academic excellence are not mutually exclusive, and that collaboration and alignment with campus partners will be fruitful to ensure our student athletes have a similar experience to their peers. The direct reporting relationship of my position to Vice President Appel will ensure the financial health and well-being of the athletics department. Scott has tremendous institutional knowledge, and I look forward to working with you, Scott, to build a program that our students and greater campus community are fully engaged in and proud of. Our student athlete population is a di diverse one, one that is reflective of the campus community that is one of the most diverse in the nation, where we are typically top 10 in the nation in terms of most diverse campuses. You couple that with the fact that Long Beach State University is the most applied to campus in the CSU system, in a dynamic location, and the opportunities for community and for growth are everywhere. What I knew going into this process was that Beach Athletics is a nationally recognized brand built on a rich tra tradition of athletic excellence, named synonymous with the very best of their sport, and a fan base that is proud to call Long Beach home. Upon doing a deeper dive, it was evident to me that there exists a standard of excellence with a desire by the university administration, the athletic department, and certainly the coaching staff to achieve greater heights. Our student athletes are why I'm here, to help them achieve their dreams and goals, as I once was a student athlete myself. So it is not lost on me that we have a unique and distinct responsibility to our student athletes to create the best student athlete experience we possibly can. 49er alums, beach student athletes, dirt bags, and all those who have competed for Long Beach State University have created a legacy that I am proud to steward forward. A legacy that includes, and here comes the, the good stuff, President Connolly already addressed one of them, back-to-back -back Big West Conference Commissioner Cup champions. We have 10, which is the most in Big West Conference history. 15 national championships including two within the past five years. 156 conference championships, 25 national players of the year, 252 Olympians, wow, 18 academic All-Americans, and 17 conference coach of the year winners within the past five years. We have a coaching staff who seeks excellence, who are teachers and care about their student athletes' well-being, and challenge them to become the next generation of leaders. The passion these coaches have for beach athletics 
was very evident and on display during my time with them on my interview. I mean, coaches are always passionate. I'm a son of one. That, they ooze that passion. And it was, it was great to see their excitement for this new leadership opportunity. And so I'm excited to partner with them in our standard of excellence. I'm excited to work alongside a committed, alongside, work alongside a committed and talented athletic department staff who pour their hearts and souls into creating an environment that enables our coaches and student athletes to thrive. Culture is everything. Culture is everything. And we all together, coaches and staff, will establish an environment that breeds continuity, collaboration, and respect. In this era of conference realignment, wow, these, are, these are interesting times in college athletics. Hope you have your map to figure out where everybody's going. I'm proud to return to the Big West Conference, and I'm excited to work with my counterparts to continue to strengthen the opportunities for excellence amongst like-minded institutions who understand what student-athlete welfare really means. Our student-athlete safety, well-being, and development will always be at the core of my leadership. We will strive for excellence in all that we do and in a manner that makes the institution and the community proud. To that end, my leadership will be grounded in the, in the following four values. First is integrity. We will win the right way with a commitment to fiscal responsibility, compliance, and student athlete welfare. The second is vision. With an eye on the future to best position beach athletics for sustained, broad-based success, we will engage in a strategic planning process that best impacts all functional areas of the athletics department. The third is collaboration. Beach athletics will be aligned with campus partners and utilize the resources, expertise, and strength of this great institution. We will seek input from the community, and we will create a dynamic culture that touches every facet of this department. I know the campus and larger community will have questions about how we will move this department forward, and the best thing that I can do and you're going to hear this a lot from me, is to listen and learn. I will do that in a thoughtful, strategic manner that enables all stakeholders an opportunity to share input. The last one is, is uh, I hope I don't scare anybody by saying this, is win. <laughs> win. We will compete with integrity and great sportsmanship. We will compete for championships, both conference and national. We will compete in the, in the classroom with the ultimate championship of graduation as our goal. We will compete for community engagement. Philanthropy is critical to our success, and I will be thoroughly engaged with the Long Beach community and our wonderful supporters. I want to thank the friends who are here, former colleagues, mentors, and the community who are here in support of myself, but more importantly, Long Beach State University and beach athletics. It is truly exciting and humbling. I want to finish by simply saying I have the best job in the country. And it's because of this institution, this community, the achievements of those who came before me, and because my feet are firmly planted in Long Beach. Go Beach. That's setting expectations uh, high right out of the gate. I, I like that. <laughs> you know, I, I think first and foremost, as a leader, it starts with the people. And I think what has been accomplished at SDSU is about the people, the culture, and, and that's, as I just shared with you, that's got to be paramount to who we are, that we've got to get the culture right, we've got great people, we've got a great institution, but how do we pull all those people together? Because when you do those things, and, and it seems um, – contrived, or I'm not sure what the right word is, but th that's, it's easy to say, sometimes hard to do. But I, in, in speaking with the staff, 
with the coaching staff, with the administration, all the pieces are right there for success, great success. Um, but it's going to take the community as well as we think about philanthropy, about uh, facility improvements, uh, this, this world we operate in and name image likeness, the transfer portal. Uh, you know, this is not your grandfather's college athletics anymore. And we've got to think um, forward about how we're going to do this in a way that attracts student athletes to Long Beach State University and how we can then uh, create an environment around them for them to strive for excellence uh, as you just described. Yeah, you know, it was it was so exciting coming up the 405, and you know, you see the pyramid from a distance, and I mean, you can't help but not see it, right, from every angle of Long Beach, and it's this iconic fa facility, um, and so, you know, I'm stepping into a leadership role, and and certainly, you know, I know that there are studies going on around the pyramid. Uh, certainly, want to get my hands on those, and and really, our facilities have to match the excellence of our student athletes, right? We have these tremendous student athletes. We want to create an environment for the students as well that they can be participants in that, uh, in that environment and culture that we want to establish. So we'll, make, we'll, we'll always make strategic improvements in our facilities. Um, and so, you know, going to need a minute to get in here and, and have an opportunity to uh, look at those studies. But we will look at those repairs that need to be made in a strategic manner uh, that, that we can accomplish. Oh, this is a former student athlete of mine, so this, this could be a dicey question. <laughs> Go easy, KK. Hi, thank you. Hi, I'm Mr. Bobby. Um, hi, everyone. I am an alumni of San Diego State University, and I've known Mr. Bobby for about 14 years now. Um, graduated in 2013, so I came today because he knew that much to me. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys to answer your question, your first question. Um, Bobby is a family. So what he says he's going to do, he's going to get done. Um, he is the reason why I graduated. He's the reason why I will continue to follow his career. He's a great man first. Okay? He's, he's good at his job. <laughs> Second. So I just wanted to say that. Um, and then also, too, you know, y'all give him some time. Once he gets settled in, he'll be ready to go and he'll put his own twist on things. But also keep in mind that um, Bobby, when he says that he's going to come with integrity, he's going to come to listen and learn, he's going to do that. And so um, I just hope that you guys continue to love on him and trust him and treat him with kid gloves because he is loved by a lot of student athletes. And I think that's what's going to separate him from other ADs. Bobby has a true connection to his athletes. He's not just this figure that's going to sit up there and no one's going to know him. He's going to walk around. He's going to make sure you know him by name. He's going to love on you like your family. Ten more years because it's been a genesis until Sawyer. I just want to say I did not pay her to be here today <laughs> to do that. And full scholarships for your children. Done. Already spending money. Already. You bet.